So, while I'm waiting for my food to be ready or cool down, I want to talk a little bit about this small knife here. It's a K bar BK11, and uh, it's a very cool knife. And I have been uh, testing it for quite a while now, so you, I will put in some uh, older footage. I made, uh, I think, two or three other review videos that I will put in, that I plan to put in later. As most of my reviews will be videos from six months or even more back. Very cool knife, I also had it with me in Finland last time. Well, it was purifying water yesterday. I spent the time paracording the handle of the on the BK11, mostly out of not boredom, but just wanting to do something. I I don't know if I'm a big fan of, of paracord handles, but uh, it's quite nice, of course. The other, otherwise, we're only like this. I cannot make it further than this because otherwise it will not close into the sheath. But uh, you can see I removed the coning on the blade itself just like the BK2 but I left the coating here of course no problem with that but you can should be able to see that it's a little what we can call it gunged up in some way but uh, let's try and clean that off and uh, we'll use some of this Johnson's baby oil so it got a little better, still some small traces, but not too bad. But this was only, not the only, but uh, the main knife I was carrying on this trip, the BK-11, uh, BK-2 is at home. I have the Mora up there in the backpack. But uh, this has been a great knife, really, really happy about it. Quite a thick spine, about four millimeters, I think. And uh, yeah, now it needs a little resharpening. But I have my diamond rod for that. And now I have a paracord handle. I'm not any paracord artists. Well, I think it turned out all right. It's a little tricky handle. But anyway, it's mm, I don't know. It was quite comfortable actually without, but uh, because you don't do really heavy duty tasks with this anyway. But uh, surely you can baton and stuff like that, and uh, I'm very, very happy about it. As you can see here on the spine, there's some marks, and it actually looks like marks after the plasma cutter or whatever. So that's one of my theories of the K-bar coding policy is that they uh, they save a lot of money on uh, finishing. It's, I don't know if you can see it, but there's also I'm trying to make a macro, but there's also some grinding marks on the on the blade itself. Uh, because as I said in another BK2 video, this coding for me anyway, I don't see any purpose of it at all, other than it's irritating and uh, saves money for big caper. It's a neck knife, uh, but I actually prefer to carry it on a shoulder carry and I have footage on how to do that. But uh, as I say, very cool little knife. Uh, very flat, of course, it's a neck knife, quite big for a neck knife. Uh, as you can see, if you were in the frame here, yeah, yeah, I para wrapped, cold wrapped the handle a little bit and I stripped off the coating because it's uh, absolutely not needed. And uh, what also uh, testing is. Uh, this is just some ranger bends, but, I, but it's to avoid it from dropping out. And it works pretty alright, so 
I'll just attach a small reindeer band down here and put some paracord on. Uh, this is just for testing, it doesn't look that nice, <laughs> but uh, it works pretty fine. I mean, if you walk around with it, you know, that lots of things can get a, get a hold on it and you can also accidentally do like this and it will drop, and especially here in the winter. You don't want to drop your knife in the snow. You'll never find. You'll only find it next summer or something. Uh, but anyway, very nice little knife. Uh, Patriot NC1. CJ, my friend, who actually put me onto this. It's an awesome knife. Really, really good knife. Handle is quite small, but uh, I don't know if the paracord was actually necessary. I put it on in Finland last time. Just to do something, but uh, I really, really, really like this knife a lot, and I used it for a lot of different stuff. In the car, for cutting bread, and uh, for bushcrafting, and this and that, and it does everything really great. And it's almost like the, the BK2, of course it's much smaller and so on, but you just have the feeling that it's not going to break on you in any way. It's of course also one piece of steel, but it's just a cool knife. She's, I don't know, it's alright. It works. So, uh, yeah, the BK11, good knife.